Welcome back guys. We are now getting ready to go to Valley of Fire State Park. I got myself some new GoPro batteries so we're going to have some extended time for recording. And it is raining here in Vegas. And we're supposed to have heavy rain over at the Valley of Fire. So we're going to see if we can manage through the night. Because we're supposed to have like a bonfire, or not a bonfire, but like a campfire and all that. But I cannot wait. This is going to be so exciting. But everybody, stay tuned. I will see you guys in the car. There we go. Alrighty guys, we are back in the car. Yo. We are heading to Historic Cabins. Which is like some cabins used for overnight stays, but for the guests. Which there's a ports of shadow figures there. Twin Paranormal had covered that recently in their video, and then do us a little... Twin Paranormal. We don't know them. Per uh, we don't know them personally, but they're a good channel. Go watch Twin Paranormal. Go watch them. Also, go watch uh, Project Fear. They're pretty good as well. Anyway, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, we are on our way. Just got Jack in the box, and now leaving Vegas. So we will see you when we have an update. Okay, so guys, we have now made it onto the Malapa Valley Indian Reservation. But, and we are on Valley of Fire Highway. We have about 30 more miles left. But I want to say something. 30 minutes, 18 uh, miles. 18 miles left. And, um, as you, I'm going to call these creatures epidermis runners. You can look up what epidermis runner is epidermis is it's obviously skin and the opposite of runner is walk I'm not going any further than that but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that so there's like this, this little analogy or or legend or something associated with them so say we're going on this highway right we're due our speed reaches 60 you look in your rear view and you see a wolf running with you at the same speed you are it has yellow eyes and oh shit Freeze. and then you look away and look back the wolf turns into a man that's essentially like this kind of thing that's associated with them but anyway i will see you guys on your beach we are heading to the historic cabins after we get to the toll booth here and then we'll see what else we can do before we check into our campground at two o'clock See you guys in a bit. Alright, welcome guys. We have made it to the historic cabins. I got nothing. Alright, let's go. Cool. <laughs> to the cabins. Yay. Like I was saying earlier, these cabins here are used for visitors to camp out in and what have you. But there's supposedly shadow figures in there. We are going to investigate. We're here. We're going to be very respectful to you. Hello, knock off. Anyone in here? Hello. You don't mean any form of disrespect? Here. Let me just see in the window. Yeah, if there's any like, spirits here, or ghosties, or just people left behind, we're just here to talk to you. We're just here to. Say hi, have a conversation. It'll be nice. I didn't have any car places. You guys are living in luxury up here. If there's a spirit in here, come touch this device. It won't hurt you at all, I think. I believe it won't. 
Can we use the energy from this device? We might be coming back here later on tonight if you aren't here. Alright, I'm gonna go um, the communication app. Okay. Did you see how I put on airline air, airplane mode? Is there anybody in here? With this device, you can actually speak with me. I can hear you. You that just made this device go red? Okay. So we're traveling to the Austin Austin all and that is the SP7 Tour box. Is there anybody in here? Got nothing. They might not be very active during the day. Okay. You want to come down this way or you want to try a different way? I'll come down that, that way. Stick to here. This looks very slippery. I said if we get down maybe uh, either way we work as long as we get down but I'm thinking Let's see where this leads. Alright, let's do this. Dead end, I think. Okay. Whoa. <laughs>
take a look at this cool picture I just got of me. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is more what I know it was. <laughs> yeah, you're right, right? Oh yeah, what well, kind of? Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, great. Listen. Wow. Apparently, Ultimate Paranormal are right here. They heard, uh, they heard through their spirit boxes someone say jump. Look at all the footsteps down there, though. I think those are footsteps. Either that or from rocks falling. I don't know. Looks more like rocks falling to me. Alright, let's see what other rocks are. rocks you can find. They're all over this land. This land. I think we should call it your grave. Ah! Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. There's a cairn. Yes. Yes, there's a cairn here. Start, start a new one. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably. Well, can we do it though? It's taking like 60% of my willpower to climb up these rocks, and the other 40% is holding back to my mountain face. <laughs> now, no, I'm, I'm recording right now. No, guys, that it's very slippery right now because of the rain we're, we're still having. Well, these shoes are very, don't have very good tread. That's cool. What are these, are these beans I've been seeing everywhere? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not kind of vegetarian. Veg. Huh? Super, uh, super silky sand over here. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, very crumbly. Or packed. There's some sort of basin over there. I bet that place is full of hornets when, uh, when the uh, summer time comes. Oh, yeah, I bet. You know what I'm thinking? No. I'm thinking, I was thinking about climbing all the way up there. Well, we might be able to wrap around here. Yeah.
we can What? I want you to get a picture of me from behind, of me looking over here. Oh, fuck. Bruh. Take a pic of me from behind. Like, stand right there. But make sure you can see over the edge. Alright. Oh, that's a pretty good picture. Nice. I wonder if you're going to have to move your car. Should we go meet our new guests or no? I'm gonna go over there just to pick my spot. Oh, that's water. I thought that was sand. I, I don't, they could, they might not actually be beans, they might be ant pods. So don't pick them up and don't crush them or else ants will come flying everywhere. Whoa! I just heard a whisper. Did any of y'all whisper to my buddy Steven here? It came from over there. It sounded like a, like maybe maybe like a hiss. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh no. Yeah, this knife has to come off now. Look. Oh. Yeah. This, that sheath is shit. Lucas was right, I should have got a new sheath. <sighs> Luckily I still have a baton. Another one. I should, well, I do have another knife. Alright guys, we are at the campground having cold canned spaghetti food. He's having, eh, he's having Chef Boy RD and I'm having SpaghettiOs. Yeah. Show you around the campground. At least 
bike from over here. We'll do some more walking around it later. But there are some people here. We don't have it to ourselves completely yet. We don't know if we actually will or not. Some people down over that way. Some people over here. And um, it's actually really peaceful. Got yeah, beautiful landscape. So should be a really good night. But uh, look at all these rocks. It's so cool. And then look at this Jared. It's this epidermis runner. <laughs> All right, enough fooling around. We're gonna chill for a little bit. We have a pretty big mess right now. Um, so we're trying to do this campfire, and this tree keeps burning out. The wind keeps burning everything out, and. Um, Trying to fit, yeah, this is going out now too. I'm trying to cook this can of Chef YRD. And the nearest store isn't for miles. Uh, what I'm using for fire starters is this. But um, I just ran out. This 15 per pack, I didn't think we need this much. We we're always going to get fire starting logs. But that was 22 bucks. I don't want to spend too much money, but now I feel like I should have. This is not going the way I wanted to. Also, I'm pretty much out. I'm not out of lighter fluid yet. Yeah, thank God. <sighs> we might have to do this the old fashioned way. And you'll see. Okay. So, my old fashioned way. I am thinking of is we gotta create we we've gotta create a spark. Hi there. So let's let's see if we can find like ourselves a rock and create a spark. But first we gotta go find ourselves some vegetation. I have myself a rock right here, and then I have myself this. Let's see what we can do. I got over my eye. Bruh. That won't, rock won't cut anything. stuff is way too moist to create sparks. Alright. So yeah, it's way too moist to even be able to create a spark. So let's try a lot of, and a lot and a lot of vegetation. So I will see you soon. Alright, I got four more star fire starters. Let's, let's pray that this actually works this time. Let's go.
I guess we're not really cooking anything. We have to salvage all of our fire starters now. You don't happen to have lighter fluid, do you? I don't. Okay, then, then I guess maybe uh, on the other option is try to see if any of these people camping here are friendly enough to see if they have anything for us. And I'm thinking about doing something I really don't want to do, and that's put the toxic wrapping paper in there as a burner. Because, uh,. Yeah. I really should have bought you know, like some more. Wait, that creates a spark though. That creates a spark, so that might actually help. All right, so we got this which actually might create a spark. So if we get it close enough to that, we might actually work. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, Jared's car is no longer here. That's because I just sent him to go down to the visitor center to see if they sell fire starters. Um, so we're by ourselves right now, and I'm just praying to God and Jared can find his way back. Because that would suck big time. Because we have no cell service. The only way for me to see if he if he's even in range to try and contact him is through this radio. Which I gave him the other one. So we'll, we will see. I'm going to call him in about three to six more minutes. And yeah. Actually, you know what? No. Let's, let's try it now. Testing one, two, three to Jared. Jared, Steven, I hear you. Perfect. Yep, perfect. He can still hear me. All right, so we're, we're not all hope is lost. So, all right then. So I'm just, I am just going to be maintaining this fire here. It seems to be burning pretty good finally, but so I'm gonna get fire starters because, well, we were down to our last three and we still have a full bundle of wood. We're still gonna be the whole night. And then we still have to try to cook our canned food. I mean, we can eat it cold, but it's not, I've realized it's not that good. But I put in some, tw I found some twigs, put it in there. I put in my last log from that bundle, put it in there. And then I had even tried to light this with it with this this uh little lighter it doesn't have any lot of food in it but it does spark so but it didn't really work the way i wanted it to and then like the last resort is try to find a rock that would be a good flint but we're, we're trying to survive out here right we're just trying to survive a little bit we will be going to um back to the cabins um let's see what time is it it's 147 
So, yeah. And then I don't know if this part of the park is haunted or not. But um, try to capture something tonight. I have this trail cam. It's currently re recording live right now. But, all right, we will see you when I have an update. All right. I don't know whether to be concerned or not. Jared is not actually answering his radio. Jared. I don't know what to do. I mean, it might have been longer than two miles. These radios only have a two mile frequency. I guess it's just best to sit out here and wait then. No cell service. So, fantastic. But I got essentially most of our gear out. We got, we still got the radio. I'm gonna keep trying. Jared, do you read? And then we got all right, my torch light right there. Got my gloves. Got a couple snacks. I got some more in my bag. The rest of the fire starters, my mobile charger, my big can opener. I got a bottle fly bottle opener. The ballast on bottle opener. Um, got some binoculars. I got Jared's uh, lighter. Got some water. I got my lighter right here. Some tools. And then our food that we're still eating. And then I got my tripod set up over here. I just have it set up. Probably, I don't know what I'm going to film with it, but we'll see. As you guys know, I still got the, tra the trail cam filming right now. And that still has a few to be lit. But let's go ahead and let's try out this again. Hey Jared, are you in frequency range? I really probably should have just came with him. But I have a fire going here. I'm trying to be a responsible camper and watch the fire. I'm getting bit by something. I don't know if we got mosquitoes or not. But I've been hearing some big things fly around. So I'm trying to stay like around the campfire. Try to get some of the smoke on me. Because sm fire smoke acts as a mosquito repellent. But I got something on my neck. It's kind of hurting. Hurting a lot. Hey, Jared. Alright, see you in a bit. Alrighty guys. 22 on the left, look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Somebody's here. So we are now heading back to the gift shop, uh, the visitor center. Uh, because there's some apparently some really neat stuff there. We're gonna be coming back to the uh, camping spot in a little bit. But of course, Jared's here. He survived. He survived that trip. And we we'll come back. Wait, is there actually? Yeah, this is 26. That one's 27. Wait, hold up. Oh, no, that's not. Wait, 123, 124. Yo, that one's actually ours. 123, 124. 
Okay, so we'll have to come back for the trail cam. <laughs> and the last log. I pray to God that no one's going to be there. Ooh, a nice area. With a bridge. Ah, bridge. Yeah. So, yeah, someone's there at the same time and date that we're going to be. But this is a much better fucking campground, uh, too. But, alright. See you guys in a bit. What? I'm gonna come up there. I'll probably do both. So guys, we have made it to our actual campsite. The one we were at was actually the wrong one. Our spot number is 27. And um, we were at the wrong one. We mixed it up because we didn't think there were 27 camp spots. And the one we were at, they were here for the same time at the same day, so. But this one's actually a lot better one. Okay. But first, look up this half. Like this little crevice here. You'll see it at the end. I don't see anything. Oh, I see it. Let's see if I can make my way to it. Whoa! What up? There's a room up here. Relatively easy to get to. Holy shit! Dude, when your drug friend says it is, since I know a spot, this is where he takes you. God, I saw something right there. This kind of reminds me a little bit like the like miniature version of the spot. Huh? This reminds me of a miniature version of the spot. That view though. What, which part is that? Dude, look in there. These rocks are so fucking cool. Yo! You're probably us, Yeah, I am. Yo, this is amazing. We want to settle with that crappy other campground? <laughs> now we know we'll put 27 next time. If it's next time. My knife is stuck. No, that was, that was something else. It's awesome. Want to chill up here for a bit, or do you want to go to that uh, comfy chair kind of? Uh, yeah, let's go to the comfy chair. Like, wow. I kind of got myself into rock climbing. I was like, you know what? It was like when you took me to Exploration Peak. Yeah, so that I was our you? that exploration peak was our very first hike together. Watch out! Oh, that's right here. Right 
Sorry, Looks like parts of it might be part of a drawing right there. Or maybe just old rock, I don't know. Probably old rock, but... Okay, go across there. <laughs> you got all the fucking kidding me. <laughs> right, I'm going to see the Yo. Can't fit? No, I, I'm not gonna try though. I don't know. I don't know if it might slide. <laughs> you just slide back down to the bottom. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna. Now that we ha I have more fire starters, I am going. Okay. You ready? So not only comfy chair, eye, eye, mouth, mouth source. The one to, to the to the other side of you looks like a ghost. Whoa. Looks like a go a friendly ghost waving to you. So, loop the green string over a log to secure. Build a structure of logs. Okay. Loop the green string. Hi, how are you? <laughs> one moment you're over there, now you're over there. Huh? I said one moment you're over there, now you're over there. Yep. Okay. Build a structure of logs. Pull the bridge. Hold on. Yo, that's just cool. Looks like it's working. Hell yeah, and it smells like a firework. How much did you get those other fire starters for? Those, so I paid 14 because I got two. No, the uh, other ones that you bought at Smith's. So they were also seven. No. You're not gonna pull the same fucking shit on me. <coughs> you still recording? Yeah. Sweet. I got that 
print the fucking thing I'm recording. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Picked you up at 11. Or at 10. You know what that means? What? We managed to bullshit our way through, uh, through five hours of, uh, of technology with work. <laughs> <coughs> All right.